Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, best weather in the entire country right here in southern New England. Granted, we need rain, but we don't see it. Blue skies, blue water. Oakland Beach, look at this, folks, enjoying this late afternoon and early evening now with temperatures that are in the upper 70s to lower 80s. The ocean is calm. Different story in the uh, eastern Atlantic. Boy, hurricane this season starting to ramp up. Here's the east coast in southern New England watching two systems. One is called a tropical wave, uh, the first or the beginning stages of tropical storm development. And then this is well-organized uh, tropical storm Gaston. It's in the uh, eastern Atlantic right now. So I'm going to watch both systems closely. If anything, it's the tropical wave wave that has a better chance of impacting uh, the southeastern United States uh, next week. This is something that we'll have to watch closely. While if there's any good news with Gaston, even though it may become a hurricane in the next couple of days, the long-range forecast actually has it uh, tracking up into the open Atlantic. Take a look at the forecast track next three to five days, taking it as a category two hurricane in the essential Atlantic. Here's the latest coordinates. Winds now of 65 moving west northwest at 18 miles per hour. Here's the position by Sunday afternoon. Usually storms in this location don't have any impact on the east coast as far as direct hits, but rather bend back out into the north Atlantic. But we'll watch it closely anyhow. But again, the system that's near the Lesser Antilles as far as the southeastern United States for early next week. We'll have to watch closely. Doppler radar, very quiet, dry air, sunshine in Providence right now down in Newport. It is gorgeous as well with the breezy, dry, comfortable conditions at 73. Providence at 80, upper 70s across southeastern Mass. Real nice in New Bedford at 77. Satellite photo, nothing but blue. And the reason why high pressure, large and in charge now across the east, keeping things uh, quiet and dry. The humidity levels continue to be quite low. The dew points here in the northeast are very comfortable. All the summertime humidity is back through the Midwest. We'll start to see some of this uh, later in the week, but for now, we're going to keep the comfortable conditions. We'll get in real close. Take a look at future casts starting off this evening, and obviously no problems tonight. Clear, dry, and comfortable as temperatures head down into the uh, low and mid-60s by uh, tomorrow morning. And here we go tomorrow afternoon. Uh, temperatures warming up. A warmer day at 85 degrees, upper 70s to near 80. Uh, at the beaches, a great day coming up. And then by tomorrow evening at 9 o'clock, skies are clear and a temperature falling back to 75. Your future cast for tomorrow morning, waking up to sunshine, dry and comfortable, 60s and 70s early in the morning, heading up to about 80 to 85 tomorrow afternoon. Humidity still not too bad, but a warmer day by 3 o'clock at 85, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, 82 degrees. Like so many days this summer season, another great beach day. Air temperature 80, water temp 75, safe sun time 10 to 15 minutes. Minutes. Seven day future cast warm and dry on Friday. We'll watch the approach of a cold front on Friday. Warm and humid. This may spark a few isolated showers and thunderstorms, though at this point we don't see Friday as being an all day kind of a washout, just a passing shower. No change to the weekend forecast. Still looks great, dry and comfortable both Saturday and Sunday. Afternoon highs in the low 80s, nights in the 60s. Next chance of a shower coming up on Monday of next week with a temperature of 84. But basically a, a dry week ahead with just a slight chance of a shower Friday and another nice weekend. Nice. All right. Thank you very much.